Hello, and welcome to Get Sleepy, where we listen, we relax, and we get sleepy. My name's Thomas, and I'm your host. It's so nice to have your company tonight. This evening, we'll be meeting two sisters, Clara and Imogen. They own an ice cream shop where they work together and create delicious new flavours. And it will all be told by the wonderful voice of Abby Offer. Let's prepare for a great night's sleep with a moment of relaxation. Make sure you're comfortable in bed, letting your body ease into whatever position feels best right now. Take a nice inhale of air through the nose, and slowly release it back out. Tonight's story is a sweet one, not just because of the ice cream, but because for the two sisters running the shop, one of their childhood dreams has become a reality. Perhaps you too have realized some of your dreams and ambitions from childhood. Perhaps you're still on that journey, or your life has taken you in a different direction altogether. As we go through our lives, it's quite natural that our dreams and plans for the future often change, and there are many different paths to fulfillment. Just as we change, grow, and develop as people, the world around us tends to change in ways that we can't always foresee, and that too can have an impact on how we choose to live our lives. So whatever path you're on, just know that there is no rush. For some people, it's important to follow specific goals and dreams. But for others, it can be just as rewarding to stay open-minded, to try various things, and to simply see where life takes us. So, settle in for a beautiful night's sleep and reassure yourself that whatever stage you're at, you're doing just fine. It's time now for our story. We begin on a hot summer day Dozens of excited customers are queuing up outside the ice cream shop. The shop is so small, you might easily miss it. There's a single door, one narrow window, and a wooden sign that reads, Sweet Dreams Ice Cream. When the shop is closed, many people walk past without even noticing it's there. But on this warm summer afternoon, there's a line of customers going out of the door and past the neighboring buildings. On a hot day like today, there's nothing better than a couple of scoops of cool chocolate ice cream, or vanilla, perhaps, or strawberry. As the customers wait to be served, they chat about the different flavours, trying to decide what to order. Everything here is so delicious, it's hard to choose. Inside the air-conditioned ice cream shop, the temperature is perfect. 
It's pleasantly cool without being too cold, offering welcome respite from the heat outside. The white floors, walls and ceiling also help to create an impression of refreshing coolness. Everything here is sparkling clean, which is just how Clara likes it. She's one of the owners, along with her younger sister, Imogen. They both take great pride in their shop, paying attention to every detail just as they would in their own homes. From the gleaming white tiles to the neat arrangement of the tubs and scoops, everything is treated with loving care and attention. At the moment, Clara is working at the till. She's a cheerful woman with glasses and curly grey hair who enjoys chatting to the customers. If it gets much busier, she'll ask Imogen to come and help but for now, she's happy to work alone. She finds that after a while, she settles into a comfortable rhythm. After greeting the customer and taking their order, she serves generous scoops of ice cream into a cup or cone. Then she adds a topping like whipped cream, hot fudge or sprinkles. After this, she processes the payment at the cash register. Then it's on to the next, and the next. She works swiftly and efficiently, but without rushing. She's noticed that the customers are never in too much of a hurry. The ice cream shop is one of the few places where people are happy to wait for as long as it takes. Perhaps it's because they need more time to make up their minds, choosing between fruit flavours and chocolate. When it's a child's turn to order, they're usually either very decisive or have no idea what they want. The little boy standing in front of her now seems almost overwhelmed by the choice. He gazes at the different flavours on display, his eyes moving from left to right, then right to left. He mutters some of the names out loud. Strawberry, coconut, cherry swirl, vanilla. His older sister taps him gently on the shoulder, encouraging him to make up his mind. Clara smiles and tells the boy to take his time. There's no rush. She can give him a recommendation if he likes, or even a sample. The boy nods, and Clara prepares a couple of little pink spoons with samples of the flavours. As she watches the boy taste the ice cream, She reflects on how he reminds her of her own grandson. The boys are similar ages and seem to be similar in personality too. They're both calm and serious and sometimes slow to make decisions. In Clara's opinion, this shows that they care about the little things in life. It's a good quality to have People should take their time, she thinks. In the end, the boy chooses a cone filled with warm melted chocolate at the bottom and two scoops, one of milk chocolate and one of classic vanilla. Clara compliments him on his choice and the boy smiles. These interactions make her day and one of the reasons she and her sister decided to open an ice cream shop in the first place. It's all about making people happy. A simple moment of joy that can brighten up anyone's day. And it's not just children. People of all ages seem to relish their visits to the shop. 
Sometimes, it's a woman who works in a nearby office, enjoying an ice cream on her lunch break. Or it might be a group of construction workers, treating themselves at the end of a long day. Then there are the tourists, who have come to seek out the town's most famous ice cream shop. Clara particularly enjoys chatting with the tourists, learning about where they've come from and what brought them to the town. Travel is one of her passions. When she was younger, both she and Imogen travelled whenever they could. Many of the ice cream flavours are inspired by their trips. One of their more unusual creations is figs with walnuts and cinnamon. The inspiration for this flavour was Imogen's honeymoon in Greece many years ago. She and her husband spent a couple of weeks on the beautiful island of Zakynthos. They stayed in a white villa near the sea, which was surrounded by fig trees. Afterwards, whenever Imogen thought of that trip, Her main memory was of sitting by the pool, eating fresh figs she'd picked from the trees. She could still recall the pleasant warmth of the evenings and the sleepy drone of the cicadas in the background. And she could still remember that taste, the honeyed sweetness of the ripe figs on her tongue. So when she opened the ice cream shop with her sister, Imogen invented a flavour to celebrate these wonderful memories. It's fresh figs mixed with walnuts and a sprinkling of cinnamon. This is still Imogen's personal favourite as it brings her back to those glorious summer days. Another special flavour is tiramisu. This is Clara's recipe, inspired by her travels around Italy when she was a student. With a couple of friends, she travelled from Venice to Florence, then continued south to Rome and Naples. During the month Clara spent in Italy, she ate so many delicious things. There were incredible seafood pasta dishes and some of the tastiest pizzas she'd ever eaten. They were made with just a few simple, high-quality ingredients. The finest cheese, tomatoes and olive oil. That was where Clara had first discovered the importance of using the very best ingredients in the kitchen. They made all the difference, transforming a simple dish into something unforgettable. In Italy, Clara's favourite part of the meal was often the desserts and particularly the tiramisu. Her friends would tease her, laughing as she ordered one whenever it was on the menu. But Clara couldn't get enough of it. She loved the mouth-watering, creamy sweetness mixed with coffee and cocoa powder, and how the taste changed as she went through the different layers. Could an ice cream flavour capture the same richness, the same complexity? she decided that she would try to recreate it one day. Now, tiramisu is one of the many flavours on offer at Clara's shop. After a lot of experimentation, she's found a combination that resembles the taste she fell in love with all those years ago. When she's making the ice cream, she always adds a generous serving of coffee so the flavour lives up to its name. 
After all, the name tiramisu means pick-me-up. This is the flavour she recommends to adult customers who need a bit of extra energy to get through the day. As well as figs from Greece and tiramisu from Italy, there are also a couple of flavours inspired by places that Clara and Imogen haven't been to yet. These are the countries they dream of visiting in the future. India is at the top of the list. Clara and Imogen often talk about visiting one day, fantasizing about their dream itinerary. Imogen wants to visit temples and the magnificent royal forts in Delhi and Jaipur, while Clara is interested in trying some of the many different cuisines. Although she's never been there, she imagines that the fruit must be wonderful too, rich and full of flavour. She imagines juicy pomegranates and papayas that taste like sunshine. Then there are the mangoes. If Clara has to choose, the mango is her favourite fruit. She imagines herself in India sipping a cool, sweet mango lassi, or eating succulent pieces of fruit dripping with juice. Inspired by their dreams of India, Clara and Imogen have created a mango and ginger ice cream flavour. The tangy ginger adds a note of spice and zest contrasting deliciously with the sweet fruit. It's especially good on warm summer days. The sisters have promised each other that one day they'll visit India together. And in the meantime, they can daydream and enjoy the flavours they've created. While Clara serves the customers, Imogen works in the kitchen, making the ice cream and conjuring up new flavours. They take it in turns, but Imogen feels that she's more naturally suited to this kind of work. She's quiet and not as chatty as Clara. While she enjoys the occasional conversation with the customer, Imogen would rather be here in the peaceful silence of the kitchen. In this cool, bright room, there are no distractions. There's no need to talk or think about anything except the task at hand. She likes the mindful, meditative nature of the work, Often she finds that she's barely thinking at all. After a while, she enters into a kind of trance, her hands moving automatically. When she's working in the kitchen, Imogen wears an apron and gloves. She also keeps her hair tied up neatly in a bun and covered by a net. The exact process for making ice cream can vary slightly. There are many different ways to make it, but one thing is always the same. The quality of the ingredients. Clara and Imogen use only fresh seasonal products. Imogen usually starts by mixing the cream with plenty of sugar and sometimes with egg too. Then she adds some milk to the pot. After stirring the mixture thoroughly and adding any extra ingredients, she cooks it for several minutes. This helps to bring out the flavors, giving the ice cream a richer, 
more intense taste. Once she's cooked the mixture, she pours it into a special vintage ice cream machine from Italy. It takes several hours to transform the ingredients into ice cream by freezing it and mixing continuously. While the machine is at work, Imogen then gets started on the next batch of ice cream. She might have to grind nuts, make chocolate powder or blend some fruit. Most of the recipes have become so familiar that she can make the ice cream almost without thinking. But every now and then, when she has some spare time, she likes to experiment with making new flavors. Ever since she was a child, she's always enjoyed creating new things. She remembers playing in the garden when she was a little girl creating strange mixtures of sand, leaves, and petals, and pretending they were magic cakes or pies. And when she and Clara shared a bedroom, they would often stay up till late at night, fantasizing about opening a sweet shop or ice cream shop. They would get to make everything themselves and taste all the flavors they wanted instead of having to choose just one or two. Imogen smiles as she remembers these childhood conversations. For most of her adult life, she worked in offices, but in her spare time, she kept experimenting and making things. She would try new recipes in the kitchen and express her creativity through pottery and jewellery making. Now, at last, Imogen is able to spend most of her time working with her hands and her imagination. This afternoon, there's a good supply of all the ordinary flavours so there's no need to make any more. Instead, Imogen can focus on her current project, inventing the perfect lavender ice cream. Unlike some of the other flavors which were inspired by her travels, the lavender idea came to Imogen in a dream. A few nights ago, She dreamed that it was a bright, sunny day and she was walking through endless purple fields of lavender. Her fingers brushed through the soft stems as she walked on and on. It felt effortless, as though she were being carried along by the gentle waves of the ocean towards a bright, distant horizon. In the dream, she felt happy, calm and peaceful, and these feelings lingered as she woke up. She resolved to invent a new flavor, to recreate the dreamy atmosphere of the lavender fields. Just as a spoonful of fig ice cream took her back to her honeymoon in Greece, maybe the taste of lavender would transport her back to the world of her dream. At first, she tried mixing lavender with honey, but the flavor didn't taste quite right to her. This time, She's added white peach and vanilla with just a hint of lemon juice. Imogen can tell by the sound that the ice cream machine has nearly come to the end of the cycle. The mechanical whirring is gradually 
getting quieter and slowing down. She hums happily to herself as she waits and then decides to pour herself a glass of cool water from the fridge. Sometimes she gets so absorbed in her work that she forgets to drink, especially as the temperature in the kitchen is always cool and comfortable. But as she sips from the glass, she realizes just how much she needed to rehydrate. Drinking the water has also left her mouth feeling clean and fresh, which is good for tasting the new ice cream. She doesn't want any lingering tastes from food she ate earlier to interfere with the flavor. When the lavender ice cream is ready, she takes a spoon and dips it into the cool cream-colored mixture. The color is paler than she expected, but when she holds the ice cream up to the light, she sees that there's a slight purple tinge. It doesn't really matter what it looks like anyway. It's all about the taste. Imogen puts the spoon in her mouth and allows the ice cream to sit on her tongue, melting slightly before she swallows it. It's just what she wanted. A subtle, fragrant blend of perfectly balanced flavors. Sweet, but not too sweet. When combined with the other ingredients, the lavender tastes less like a plant than some new exotic fruit. Just as she hoped, the flavor brings her back to that magical dream walking through the lavender fields beneath a radiant blue sky. Later that day, Clara and Imogen finish work and close the shop. They sometimes work at night too, but today they've decided to close early so they can enjoy the beautiful summer evening. After cleaning up and changing into their ordinary clothes, they walk to the nearby town square. Clara has a comb, while Imogen has a cup. But the ice cream flavor is the same. Lavender with peach and vanilla. A serving of Imogen's latest creation is a treat for both of them at the end of a long day. The days themselves are longer at this time of year as the sun doesn't set until late. Clara and Imogen love these lazy summer evenings that seem to last forever. The atmosphere of their town transforms as everyone looks happier and more relaxed. The warm weather puts everyone in a good mood. It's as if they're all on holiday, enjoying their own town as a tourist would. The two sisters sit on a wooden bench on the edge of the town square. It feels so good to sit down and relax, having spent all day on their feet. They both let out a sigh of contentment as they make themselves comfortable. Then, as they continue to eat their ice creams, they discuss the taste and balance of flavors it's delicious, says Clara, with a smile of approval. 
she's sure it will be popular with customers who are looking for something a bit different. And although she sometimes helps to make new flavours too, it's Imogen's area of expertise. She's glad that their skills complement each other so well. The ice cream melts quickly in the warm air and soon has the soft, almost liquid texture that Imogen loves. She savours every mouthful. When she closes her eyes, it's as though she's back in the world of her dream. She's so happy to have found the perfect recipe at last. Even after they've finished eating, Clara and Imogen continue to sit and talk together. It's a wonderful feeling, they agree. They're tired now, but also happy and fulfilled. They could never have imagined how their childhood dream would become a reality all these years later. They continue chatting and reminiscing as the sun goes down. The market square has a calm, tranquil atmosphere. The only sounds are the murmurs of conversation from people walking through the square and the distant traffic. Every now and then, there are also the calls of the summer swallows that fly above, soaring joyfully over the trees and rooftops. Clara and Imogen are starting to feel sleepy now, but their homes are just a short walk away. They know they'll both sleep well tonight. After a day at the ice cream shop, they usually sleep deeply and dreamlessly. But tonight? Who knows? Perhaps they'll dream of lavender fields or another magical place a new source of inspiration.